All right, welcome. Today we're going to do the Fast Start Planner. I'm going to go through this with Mac Bessie uh, as one of our district leaders. I'm going to go over this, and you guys are going to see how we do this process with the new rep. Um, 24 to 48 hours within them joining the business, we want to go over this with them, let them see some of the you know big things that they need to really understand so that they can hit the ground running and uh, most importantly race uh, to district leader and start their promotions. So, so Mac, um, this is your Fast Start Planner. Glad to have you on the team. Got you just started yesterday. Yeah, and, I'm excited. Uh, and you're working with uh, well, me, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, so this Fast Start Planner you can see is going to be a lot about those business building basics. Okay. So we're going to be going over some of the, I like to think of it as like boots on the ground, what do I do now, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then as we you know, go through it, you can ask questions or at the end, you know, we can ask some other questions, that kind of thing. Okay. All right. So the first most important thing I like to go over is identifying your goals and dreams. Okay. Now this is not normal, and I understand that. Uh, you go to a job, they don't talk about your goals and dreams, right? They talk about That's right. like you make eight fifty an hour, or twenty five an hour, or whatever it is. Like be here tomorrow from nine to five, and mm -hmm. basically keep your head down, right? Uh, when here we're very interested in helping you with like your business goals, personal goals, financial goals. So what those top fives in those different departments may be. Hmm. And things like, you know, business goal, business goal, business goals, what do you want to accomplish here? You know, when and what time frame? So you might say, hey, I really like to, you know, I really want to accomplish making 50 grand a year. It's always been a goal of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, top five, like a personal goal. I've always wanted to go to LA, you know, or something like that. He's always wanted to travel somewhere. Uh, Hawaii, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to have those kinds of goals, and we need to know what those are because, as humans, we're motivated a lot like uh, a lot like donkeys are. And you either have to whip a donkey to get him to move, or you have to hang a carrot out in front of him, kind of like the old cartoons. You know, or that he'd walk a step and the carrot kind of swing, and it's always trying right. to get that carrot. It keeps him moving, right? Mm -hmm. Well, goals keep us moving, hmm. but the whip is the only other answer. Well, your job motivates you by the whip. If you don't show That's up, right. what do they do? They whip you. They, you get written up or something. If you do that too often, you just get fired, mm -hmm. right? So here, I don't want to rule you. I want to help train you. I want to, like, coach you, okay. okay? So what I want to know and what I need you to do is this part's the only part that's kind of like homework. That's why we put it right on the cover page so that you can go ahead and fill this thing out and then give this back to me so that I can kind of know, like, what is Max Carrot? Like, what does he really want? So if you're not feeling really motivated one month, I can say to you, hey, hey, I, unless I didn't know, like, did you go to the Bahamas yet? Mm -hmm. And you're like, no, no, I didn't go to the Bahamas. And I say, well, you still want to go to the Bahamas, don't you? Yeah. Well, this is what we need to do. Let's get back on track, buddy. Let's make it happen. Okay. It's more of a motivating thing than versus like a being like a dictator. Right. You know, it's just not my our philosophy here. So cool. So we want to get you also promoted as fast as possible. Let's bring you to district leader. So we got to get you three recruits on your team, three of your first sales. <coughs> we got to do that in your first 30 days. Now, it's going to create two things. Number one, a promotion from 25% to 50% commission rate. Uh, number two, you're going to get a fast start bonus. So we've got a bonus on the line right now of uh, $300 as long as you complete this district goal date by 30 days from now. Gotcha. Okay. So let's say that's June 1st. Uh, this year, you got to have that done. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be really easy. Now, three by three is what you'll hear me reference this is a lot of times. Like, hey, where are you at on your three by three? So three recruits and three sales. So here's what's important about this. We're going to work on getting this three recruits and three sales done before you go to that life insurance class. Remember that? The life class, the Saturday, right, yep. Sunday, past test. We're going to work on making these three sales and this three recruits before that. And okay. the reason for that is I want to get you promoted quickly. I want to get you that $300 bonus in your hands in the next 30 days. Okay. And I also want to build you a team and really get your business operational, really get things rolling. Okay. Well, the only way we're going to do that is if, let's say this is me. So for Josh. Okay. Now this is you down here, Mac. Okay. Mac, we're going to work on getting you at least three people, right? 
So like for instance, who are your three three just close personal friends so we can uh Seth will say Mike and Kevin. Seth, Mike, and Kevin. Okay. So let's say these three guys and maybe Honestly, any of those three guys may be interested in extra part-time income, full-time. Uh, sure, maybe, maybe all of them, yeah. So it's mm-hmm. really possible that maybe those guys could be those guys, right? Right. So we'll be reaching out to them for that. Okay. Now, before when we're, on top of this, these are the three <coughs> recruits. We also have to what? Get three sales. Three sales. Okay, so we're going to go out. You and I are going to go out in the field. We're going to go meet people at what we call the kitchen table, which I'll be talking more about in the next page, okay? Okay. So we'll be going to these kitchen tables to meet husbands and wives. To show them what we do. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when we do that, you're not licensed, right? Now, if you're not licensed uh, in the state of Indiana, we don't have a temporary license, so you don't get paid commission on those first three sales. Okay, so this is what I call give up to go up. So, Mac, what you're going to do is I'm going to take you out as your trainer, and you're going to give up your first three sales commissions to me. Okay. But now we've got three sales done and three recruits, and now you're at a 50% contract. So you're at 50%. Right? Hmm. Now these guys are brand new. Let's say we just got them on your team. Now you're 50% and you now take them out. So I want to show you how the, quickly the process turns over. Okay. So you gave up three to me, but now what's Kevin got to give up to you? Three. He's got to give He's up three to you. He's got to do the same thing that I have to do. Right. So, and then Mike's got to give up three. And then Seth's got to give up three. Hmm. So you gave up three, you received back? Nine. Nine. Is that more or less than three? More. It's more, right? Yeah. So really, you know, the short-term view is like, why well, I gave up commission. No, you got a $300 bonus and you got a big promotion. Then what happened because of that is we grew a team. Now those guys are going to give up sales to you. So you only ever give up once, you receive forever. Super gotcha. important concept for you to really understand because that's going to give you incentive to be like, Josh, let's go make my three sales fast. Let's get this thing going. Mm-hmm. So I can get this my sales coming from those guys as fast as possible. Makes sense. Got it? Yep. So we're gonna work on that and see the same thing's gonna then happen for Kevin and so on right. and so forth. Okay. Right. So now we're gonna work on setting appointments with different types of people, but and if you could read this word for me, uh, it'd be helpful. So in setting appointments, working in the right market is what is that word there? Critical. It's critical mm-hmm. uh, to your success. Okay. If you work in the right market, you can see that you're gonna make money. You're going to build a solid business, but if you work in the wrong market, you're going to work long hours and really not make any money. Now, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Not at all. Like you came here to make money, right? That's right. So we want to make you money. So now, what, okay, what does that mean? Like what is the right market? So Mm -hmm. here's what the right market is. We'll we'll call it target market. There are people that are typically married or divorced, but more often married, Mm -hmm. 25 to 55 years old. They have children, own a house, and got full-time occupations as well. Okay. Okay. So, let's think about this. Like, um, you got aunts, uncles, things like that, right? Yeah. So, any of them married? Like, yeah. Like, just put one of them in your mind. Yeah. Are they, like, 25 to 55? Yep. Do they got any kids? Yep. Do they own a house? Yes. One of the two of them work a pretty good full-time job? Both Maybe of them. both of them? Both of them, yeah. So see, they're what we call macho. Okay. They have five of these points. Now, mm-hmm. like, if you're like you or me, when I started, see, when I got started, I was single, 20, no kids, lived at home, had a full-time job. So I was a one. So I was not a macho. I was just an O. <laughs> so I mean, so right. now, now, that doesn't mean that I didn't have my place here. Mm-hmm. It just means that we didn't do a kitchen. They didn't do a kitchen table with me. I came into the office to meet them. I didn't, that just like sense. you did. Like, you right. came in and met me yesterday for, in the office. I did more like an interview with you. The people that are macho, we're going to work on doing what this thing here we call the kitchen table or the KT. See, that's in their home. See that? Yes. We want the, so here are the rules for appointments with macho people. We want the husband and wife both there. Okay. We're going to meet them at their house. We're going to book at least two in a row. So you're going to have like a six o'clock appointment at night and an eight o'clock appointment at night. Okay. Okay. Four and five pointers, meaning four to five of these attributes. Okay. We're typically going to meet them in the evening. Now, if we can meet in the daytime, that's awesome because sometimes you got a husband around here work shift work or something like that, and wife's maybe a stay at home. And it works out where we can go in the daytime, mm-hmm. then we definitely go for that. But 
we don't see the three pointers in below at night. That's what we call prime time. It's like 5 to 10 p.m. is our prime time. It's during prime time when we want to see the macho people in their home, husband and wife both there, two appointments in a row. Gotcha. Makes sense? So the reason we called, you can see I'm hitting this part pretty hard, see they're called rules. Mm -hmm. Now when I was a kid, I didn't like rules, but these rules I learned made me money. Uh, unlike the rules, you know, at the house or something like that, or school. So if you pay attention to these and you see three and belows, you haven't come into the office like you did, like I did, and meet in here for like a one-on-one, -on -one, and you don't do those at like eight o'clock at night, but you meet those husband wives and stuff at eight o'clock at night instead, you're gonna be really successful, okay? okay? Because it's gonna take a lot of the headaches out of the business, okay? So I was thinking like this, I don't play basketball, um, but I always thought it was a good example. If that's the backboard or the hoop, right? Mm -hmm. And this is you taking a shot from this little X, there's a high likelihood you'll make that shot, right? Yeah. Because you're like really close. You're like basically yeah. right, I mean, you just close basically like knows. toss that thing up and uh -huh. you got it, right? But what if you're taking a shot from well past half court? and you're shooting all the way to here. Chances are low. Like really low, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you might not even be able to throw it that far. I mean, who knows? I could. Right, you could throw it that far? Yeah. Good. <laughs> so so you might not, some people couldn't even throw it that far, let alone like make it, mm -hmm. right? So what we wanna do is this is like trying to sell an insurance policy or an investment to like a 21 year old. Mm. Well, that makes sense. But like your aunt and uncle who you were thinking about, whoever that was you were thinking about, they need Life insurance, car insurance, they, you said they own a home, so they probably need homeowner's insurance, car insurance, probably need life insurance, probably need investments. They probably, they probably need almost everything we do. Okay. Okay. So really important, does this page make sense? Totally. Any questions? No questions. No. So you can see here the goal is to meet at the table. So okay. let's just remember that we're going to meet at the table, and the four of us is how I'm going to train you. I'm going to be sitting there with you, you with them. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna be able to show them everything that we do, similar to what I showed you yesterday, and do a financial needs analysis for them and, and mm -hmm. should help put them on the right track financially, right? So it's here where you're gonna watch me do everything, you're gonna shadow, like I was telling you yesterday, this is how you're really gonna learn the business. It's by what we call field training. You watching me do the work while you're taking notes and trying to figure out how that all works. And after each appointment, we're gonna debrief a little bit on the questions you had, things that maybe they talked about you didn't understand. And honestly, after two, three, four appointments, you're gonna to start to realize like, wow, people ask the same questions basically all the time. And you're gonna to start to get good at it and understand it. And that's what's gonna put you in a place where you're gonna start training other people a lot faster, honestly, than you probably think. Uh, that's gonna come up pretty quick, okay? okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to start to think about who are these people not just the macho people, so I don't want you to get too hung up on that, okay? Because you think like, oh, I'm only looking for macho. We're looking for those, yes, we need those. But we also want to be really open to guys like you and me mm -hmm. that are like our friends, things like that, that might not be as macho, we want to write them down too, okay? okay? So here, this page is like totally about first names and what we call the four-minute name game. So we're going to spend a minute on each section Family, coworkers, associations, clubs, church, that kind of stuff, right? Like if you're in a volleyball league or something, right? And friends, okay? So we're gonna do like a minute each section, and then you're just gonna write down the first name only of anybody in your family who's within like a 50 mile radius of here, okay? Now, when I say that, I don't mean like, you, you think to yourself, well, I don't know if my cousin Mark would be interested. We don't know if these are gonna be interested. We're not really concerned about the fact that they may or may not be interested. All we need to do is get people on a name list. I need you to like brain dump. Does that make sense? Yeah. I need you to just kind of free flowingly think about people. We don't, that doesn't mean we're gonna see them. Doesn't mean we're gonna have the time to even get with them. It doesn't mean that they're gonna be interested. Just means that we gotta get them on paper so you can start to open up the floodgates of like, who could help me, who would help me. That makes sense. Okay. Yep. So we're going to do a minute each section. I need you to write as fast as you can for each section. We'll see if you broke the, you know, break the record for how many people somebody wrote down once before. What is that record? 110. Okay. Okay. So Five that minutes. guy was writing very quickly. Yeah. So, so we'll see uh, if you can beat that. Okay. So right. why don't you go ahead and go, and then I do the four minute game. So we do one minute per 
per section, uh, family, coworkers, friends, clubs, associations. Uh, we're gonna do one minute per section. I'm gonna stop him at each minute interval. I'm gonna say, okay, done, stop, next. Coworkers, everybody you've worked with currently, you used to work with at an old job that maybe you're not at anymore, all your friends, friends that you haven't been in contact with in two, three, four years, you know, maybe longer in some people's case, and then uh, any associations. So, all right, so Matt, great, man, that's exciting. So you didn't quite beat the record, but man, you got like 75 people down, that's awesome. Uh, so we're gonna be able to use those people now to, to kind of break this down a little more to who we're gonna see, okay? Okay. Now who on this list are what I call your easy three? Who are the three people that if you just called and said like, hey, I need help with training with a new, you know, new career, mm -hmm. I need help, who would those three be? Uh, I would say the first three on my family list. Oh, then you put them right here. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. I put a star next to those three names, okay? So those three would be easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else outside of those three that you're like, if I call them said, I need help fulfilling some requirements for a new position, mm -hmm. that they would totally help you. Any Who else? I would say the first three of my friends as These well. three, first yep. three as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else really sticking out on that list? Uh, a few coworkers and a few... Uh, church members as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first take these six and We're gonna move them to what I call my steam sheets. Okay, okay. Now steam standing normally for sales teachers enthusiastic ambitious and needs more money All right. money, okay um, But really this is also like your warm market list So we're taking these warm people that you really know we're gonna transfer some of them to here And that's what we're gonna work on now Qualifying which ones are macho. So here's the macho theory again. See that married you got a little cheat sheet at the bottom Yeah, married or divorced. Okay kids Homeowners or they've lived in the area three plus years if they have like an apartment or if they own and they've been in there You can circle both. Okay, okay. 25 to 55 years old got a part-time job a full-time career like we were saying Okay, so back to the exact same thing as this. Okay, so let's move those people to this And then we'll go from there. Okay, that sounds great <laughs> We'll move over the six. Once we got those, then I'm gonna keep going with him and we're gonna break down this list and really build his market list to at least right now a top 30. So I'm just gonna use two sheets. Each sheet has uh, 15 slots available. So we're gonna do at least two sheets um, unless he just doesn't have much of a market or something like that, in which case it would be of course less. So um, but usually we can at least get down a quick 30 we're gonna transfer them from here to here because here they're not qualified. Here they're qualified. We can circle and know kind of who they are. And then we're gonna move on to the next phase, okay? So Mac, pretty exciting. These top six though, those are the ones that you said were like absolutely would help you out, right? Right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is make a couple of phone calls right now and set up your first appointments, okay? Okay. So let's get your schedule for this week figured out. So what do you, today's Friday, what right. do you, like Saturday through next week, what's Saturday, your schedule like? I'm off at 10 o'clock, I can be in the office. Okay. Um, Sunday, free after free. church. What time do you get out of church? Uh, noon. Noon? Noon. Okay. noon. Uh, Monday? Monday from 10, 10 to 5, I'm available. You're available? Yeah. 10 to 5, okay. So I'll go through the week, get the week's schedule. We need to have that here so that I as a trainer, when I'm helping to make this phone call, I don't get tripped up on like, what, when can we do this? I don't, um, I need to already have that written down. So I'm gonna write that down on the back of one of the steam sheets. Mm -hmm. So I say, okay, Mac, now what we're gonna do is do what's called the training triangle. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a, a system that's been used for nearly 40 years in Primerica and works in amazing, okay. in an amazing way, okay? Gotcha. It's like almost magical. Okay, so if you're anything like me, I was really scared to make phone calls. Uh, I was like really nervous. I had some serious trepidation about that. I don't know, is that? Yeah, I'm a little nervous to make these phone calls. A little nervous, sure. right? Yeah. So here's the great news. I'm gonna take all the pressure off of you. I'm gonna do all the hard work. The only thing you need to do with these top six people is the thing you're used to doing with them. Like, okay. hey, what's up? How you doing? Are you off work right now? Yeah, totally normal. I don't need right. you to talk about like what we're doing. Okay. okay, I'm gonna do that. So you can see that here. It's so like, let's say I was calling you and you're a friend of mine. So, hey Mac, hey, I had a quick question for you. I got a position working in financial services and I'm working on getting my financial licenses. 
I need help fulfilling my requirements for training and really need your help. I'm sitting with my trainer right now. I need you just to talk to him for a couple of minutes. His name is Josh. Okay. Isn't that super easy? Very easy. So why don't you read that a couple of times? Just to kind of kind of get that wording. Read that a few times here. Okay. And then I'm, you and I are going to role play that a couple of times. Because the only thing I need you to do is that. And then they're gonna, you're going to hand me the phone. Okay? You're not going to ask for permission from them. Like, can I talk to... You know, can you talk to, no, say, I'm sitting here with Josh, here, and just hand me the phone, okay? I'll take care of the rest. Okay. And you can see I'm basically, what I'm going to tell him is, hey, thanks for taking our call. Uh, you know, Mac just started working with us, and, you know, he's working on these licenses and fulfilling some training requirements. Basically, all we need to do is come by for a quick 30 minutes, show you a little presentation. you really be helping Mac out with everything. Our company's expanding. He's uh, just working on some training, so we appreciate the help what's better for you Monday or Wednesday and we'll set a time with them awesome make sense easy so you'll see me kind of mix that up a little bit based on how they seem to be on the sure. phone but really all I'm doing is asking for them to help you with your training makes sense you can see it's nothing about sales we're not trying to get come over there to some life insurance or anything like that we just simply want to get you trained number one that's my number one like reason for doing an appointment is to get you trained any individual appointment doesn't matter if they do business, okay? okay? The grand scheme of things, we need to get you trained. Number two, then it comes down to, can we help the client, okay? So first and foremost, we really wanna be focused on helping uh, helping you get trained, okay? So so do you feel kind of comfortable if you were to read that back to me right now, Mac? Sure, you want me to? Yeah, why don't you read okay. that to me, like you picked up, like sure. I picked up phone, I'm, a, I'm your uncle or Yeah, or yeah, I'll, uh, first name on the list. I'll, okay. I'll call my uncle. So. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Uncle Jeff, I got a quick question for you. Uh, I got a position working uh, in a financial services company and I'm working on getting my finance license. I need help fulfilling my requirements for training and just need your help. Uh, I'm sitting here with my trainer right now. I need you to talk to him for a couple minutes. His name's Josh. Man, that was really good. That was awesome. And I hand you the phone. Yeah, right? you just hand me the phone. Gotcha. Okay, that was really, really good. So so now let's do it like, um, same, same thing. That was mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, but now, like, warm me up a little bit. So I'll, like, ring, 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 and, like, okay. chat with me for, you know, just a couple of questions All just right. to break the ice, and then say, hey, I need a quick, you know, favor from you, okay? Gotcha. So uh, ring, 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 hello? Hey, Uncle Jeff, it's Mac. How hey, what's up, Mac? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. It's Friday, so I'm excited. Awesome. You off work? Yeah, yeah. Just got home. Cool. Hey, the reason for my call is I just got a quick question for you. Okay. I got a position working in a financial services company. I'm working on getting my finance license. Wow. I need help fulfilling some requirements. Um, so I just need s some requirements for my training. Uh, so I just need some help with that. Uh, I'm sitting here with my trainer right now. Would you feel comfortable talking to him for a couple minutes? His name's Josh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pass me the phone. And then, nice. I, and then I kind of step in and say, hey, Uncle Mark. Hey, my name's... My name is Josh Mock. I know this is probably a little awkward, a little strange, but thank you for helping Mac out here, mm -hmm. and then I'll kind of go into my piece. Make sense? Make sense. And we're going to set up appointments, and you're going to see a lot of success. Nobody's going to tell us no. Everybody's going to want to help you because they care about you, and they love you, and they want to they help you out. Right. Make sense? Makes sense. Cool. Now, so we're going to do that, and we're physically right now going to actually make those calls Honestly, I'm gonna ask him. I mean, if we go through five, six dials, and then I ask man, hey, do you got a little more time here, buddy? Do you got to leave right now? No, I'll go through the 30 calls if I can. Book up my week, get a lot of appointments set, make take this guy to district leader instead of in a month. Take him there by next, you know, by Wednesday. It's Friday, you know, get him there quick, move fast. And the faster we move and build him a team, the more successful he's gonna be. So, so this Mac, as you can see, we left a bunch of voicemails, right? Yeah. And so we got uh, we got six appointments set, which isn't that exciting? That's exciting. I mean, they, those people seem pretty pumped, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So we got six appointments set. But we also left like ten voicemails. So you're gonna have some people call you back. Okay. Now you heard me do that script six different times. Everybody said yes, right? Mm -hmm. If you had to like say that, if they called you, because they're gonna call you back, right? Yeah. They're gonna call you when I'm not around. Mm -hmm. So here's kind of that script for your side. Okay. Same idea. Company, you're expanding, you're you know, you need their 
requirements, that sort of thing. This is all this is, okay? So you have a print version of what I was saying from your perspective when they call. Okay. Okay. You feel pretty comfortable after hearing me do that and what to yeah, kind of say and stuff? Yeah, it went better than I thought it would. Okay. <clears throat> Good. So, now, I do like to help, uh, you know, when I was brand new, I started when I was 20 years old working a full-time job at Gander Mountain, and one of the things that I did uh, that I wish I uh, had been told not to do was what I did was I went out and started talking to all my friends and family without my trainer and before getting any training, and I'll tell you, I said a lot of what not to say uh, mm. to people, and I really spoiled a lot of my friends um, because I was overzealous, okay? So... So here's a couple of three bullet, four bulletins on what not to say, okay? So the what I call the three I's. So don't talk about insurance, any kind of investments, income. So like, now I'm gonna make $100,000 and you just sound crazy, right? The three I's, insurance, investments, and income. If you can keep those out of a conversation, just talk about, hey, I'm getting my financial licenses, I need help. If you keep it more about that kind of stuff, you're gonna have a lot more success, okay? Uh, and the other thing is, honestly, I was talking to you about their insurance and investments when I wasn't even licensed to do those things. So it really, it's like illegal. But I was so excited that I was kind of talking to you about things that I didn't really know anything about yet. Hmm. And that wasn't fair to those people, as well as me kind of screwing up my ability to help them, right? Yeah. So don't post mass messages on your Facebook, okay? Uh, don't want you going out there writing on the, you know, you're becoming a financial advisor, uh, you know, or something like that, licensed insurance agent or something, all over your Facebook, name of the company, all this kind of stuff. Because honestly, I hate to say it, but it's gonna make it seem like kind of one of those one of those things, you know, you get see people get into and all of a sudden they get all excited about whatever company they're with right. and they start spreading it all over Facebook. And in reality, if you ever pay attention, nobody really comments to that stuff and nobody yeah. really responds to that kind of stuff because we don't really do well at that. Uh, I, I don't like that. I don't like when the only thing I ever see on a friend's Facebook is constant barrage of the same thing from them, you know? So what we're going to do is we do have a what to say and how to approach that, but we're not going to do it on a general profile status. Okay. okay. So information overload. Okay. You are new, so your understanding is not complete yet, right? You're still in training. I mean, this is only your second time you've been coming in here. So... As that new person uh, you're talking to, you know, um, you don't actually need or want much info. The thing is, stick to the script. A lot of times you think, they think they want info, so they ask you, like, hey, well, tell me more about this, tell me more about that. But really what they're not wanting is info. They're, they're just curious, and they're just trying to carry on the conversation. So if you, Matt, can just kind of jump back to what the script was really all about, which is about helping you with your training, just letting us come by for a quick 30 minutes, and not go down the road of the three eyes, which is what I did. I told my friends, hey, I need help. And they're like, what do you need help with? I'm going to be doing insurance and investments. And I started telling them all the money I was going to make. And I really intimidated a lot of my friends. And uh, it, it didn't turn out well for me. Okay, So don't try and answer questions on your own. Okay, This is another what not to say. If someone calls you back and asking you a lot of questions, okay, they're just not like giving you the appointment, just tell them you're new and that you're still in your training, and then you'll find everything out during the appointment. It's so easy to tell, it's amazing how you can just tell somebody that. They ask a question and say, Uncle John, look, I'm still in training, that's why I'm calling you. <laughs> I just need to help 30, 45 minutes, can you just give me a break, I'll come over, I swear I'm gonna bring my trainer, he knows everything, he's gonna show you everything, it's gonna be great, and you really be helping me out. That's the key point that is under the what to say, is that you're asking for help, you simply need their help for your training. Okay, there's something amazing about, hey, I owe you a favor. Help me out with this. People really respond well to that kind of thing. Okay. So here's like a general Facebook message. And when I mean a Facebook message, it means like a private message. So if you PM somebody or you texted a friend uh, for people that are not the machos. Remember the married age children home and occupations. Right. So you might just have like your friend like I did, my cousin and a couple of my buddies. They, they were ones like me, lived at home with decent jobs. So you can tell them, hey, I just started a new part-time career in financial services. My manager said that they're looking for more people who are seeking a significant part or full-time income. You're one of the first people that came to mind. Text me back more, for more info and to set a time to talk more. Thanks. 
super clear. Mm -hmm. It leaves out the three eyes, right. but it's still going to get you appointments. Okay. Okay, for maybe your millennial friends, that sort of thing, where like, if you call them, they might not even pick up, but you know if you send them a text like that, they're going to respond well to it. Right. right. So remember to ask for help, and then, and then lastly, what to say. Uh, one to get together to network, okay? They're bound to know somebody you should uh, be talking to. So it's important to kind of tell somebody like, hey man, I just really want to get together and network with you because you're bound to know somebody needs what I do. So like, I don't think that necessarily you need what I do, but somebody you know may need what I do. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just come over and show you, or can we get a cup of coffee, that kind of thing. Um, and then I'll come with you and help to continue to train you through that process, okay? So here's the fast start checklist. Uh, so set, do, fast start within 24 hours after your IBA. So we just got that done right. We're gonna build your warm market list. We already did that, right? So we got that check. We set six appointments. We want to set three to five, so we already set six, so that's awesome. Uh, did you download the Primerica app? I did, yep. You did? Okay. Yep. Have you been able to log in and get on there? Did they help you with that with your solution number and stuff? Yep. Okay. Are you also on our GroupMe app? Yeah, I downloaded that as well. Okay, cool. So um, so we got you on the Primerica app and the GroupMe app. Awesome. Um, now subscribe to our YouTube channel. So there's a channel that's called Close the Gap Untouchables. Okay. Uh, so uh, if you get on there, you'll be able to see videos of me doing things just like I just did for you right now so you can get better at this business faster because you okay. can sit at home and watch YouTube and learn the business even though you're away, okay? Uh, so do your own financial needs analysis, call on out on home, see if you can save money in your own car insurance, that cool. kind of thing, right? So, so save the dates, okay? Last thing here, a couple of things. Every Thursday night from seven to about 8.15, we do what we call our opportunity meeting. So we showcase the opportunity of working with this company. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So the opportunity meeting is really important. Then every Saturday morning we do training from nine to noon. Okay, so we do three hours worth of training. Now, according to your schedule you gave me, it doesn't seem to conflict. Uh, you can make Thursday nights and Saturdays? I can, yeah. Okay, now these aren't mandatory, but I'll tell you personally, Mac, um, Remember I told you that you need to put in about 10 hours to 15 hours a week, mm -hmm. but a minimum of 10 to be able to make like a good consistent part-time income here, right? Well, if seven to eight, let's just call it, you know, it's 815 is an hour, and training on Saturday mornings is three, that's only four hours a week of the 10 hours you need to put in. And I really consider those four hours as four hours of work. Because you're brand new, and like me, when I was brand new, I didn't have a clue I didn't. I don't even know if I realized for the first month what the heck we even did here. You know, mm. I was pretty lost. Mm -hmm. So what really grounded me and really made me understand things is I made everything. I came to every Thursday and I came to every Saturday. And I didn't miss. And what happened then was I got really good because I never missed training and I was always learning a lot. So what I I'll tell you is this, Mac. You need to be there every Thursday and every Saturday. It's not mandatory, but it's mandatory if you want to work with me. Mm. Okay, because I need I know that people are committed, are committed, right? So it's super important to make those. Um, I don't really care what you do with the other uh, 164 hours. You need four hours a week uh, in my office for training. Okay, so your next PFS use is Primerica Financial Services University. Your life licensing class. That's the Saturday Sunday class. We get you signed up for that in two weeks from now, right? That Saturday Sunday. You got that blocked out for work and that yes. kind of thing. Yes. Yep. Okay, you're right. good there. Okay. So that is where our licensing coaches are gonna call you, and they'll tell you what to bring, how to dress, all that kind of stuff, okay? And the next Fast Start School we've got in Detroit is in September, okay? So we've got that, but really the next big event is convention, which is just next month. So we're gonna get you to convention and talk more about that now, so, okay? Now here's lastly, some important phone numbers um, just to put in your phone. So the auto and home program, down here, some phone numbers to Primerica. Our office here, mm -hmm. tech support for your POL. Okay. okay. Uh, you can see all that information there. Office info about here. So if you have friends like coming here for a meeting, you need the address. It's on the back of this Fast Start Kit. So your total cheat sheet, office phone and fax, my name and my solution number. That's my sister and my wife. And they do all of the uh, life insurance licensing, coaching stuff that we do as well as uh, Abigail is also our secretary and runs kind of day-to-day -day operations with Lauren. Okay, so for a lot of those kind of questions stuff, they can help you out. Great. Okay, 
Any questions on there, man? Does that pretty much make sense? You explained it all. Man, I'm excited. We got six appointments set for you. We got a whole bunch of people here on this list ready to go. I'm sure you'll get some more callbacks tonight. So call me tonight when some people call you and you just keep this script by you. Okay, keep this handy. And when they call you back, you're going to set those appointments up, man. I'm really confident. I think you're going to do really, really well. Awesome. Seem like you got Thanks, the man. right personality. Yep. So I'm excited Appreciate for you. It. Yeah. Hey, great day. Have yes. a good day. You Thanks, too. Buddy. See ya. So hopefully that was helpful. And Mac was pumped about it. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Use this. Watch it lots and lots of times. Try to get down the verbiage between the pages, the stuff that I'm covering. But the most important thing about a Fast Start Planner is being excited, being motivated, being energetic, and showing them, like, telling them and breathing belief into them. That's very hard to do, like, in a situation like this. But it's really important to do in, in the real-life scenario is to talk to them about, you can win. You're going to do something big. Pour belief in him. He's already, you know, mentally, at least I was and almost everybody is, we don't really believe in ourselves when we're coming here, really nervous, really scared. And somebody's got to be that voice to the new recruit to like tell them, you're going to make it. You're going to do well. Let's push. Let's move. Let's make this happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, we're going to make a lot of money together and be really successful. So hope that helps everybody. Thank you so much. Have a good day.